And sometimes for me, I know that the next step is the only thing I can do. Um, because to try to look to the end of the road is too hard. To try to think about where the road could end is too overwhelming. Um, to try to think about my frustration even of why is God taking so long? But for me, looking at Jesus' example, the lesson that I learned um, is that He got up and He kept going. I have never looked at the picture of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane praying to the point of sweating blood um, uh, the same after having uh, a conversation with a friend of mine. We were talking about um, suffering and things just being hard and horrible. I've had that conversation with numerous friends over time because, you know, life just has ebbs and flows. But at this current conversation, it was in the middle of 2020, and um, I was talking to her about our mom's passing mm -hmm. and just, you know, just trying to reconcile some things that when somebody passes away and they, they're they not ready, you're not ready, and what does that look like? Where is God and all that? And she said to me, the only thing that helps me, the thing that helps me most, and she's a cancer survivor multiple times over, she said, is that Jesus didn't want to do it. Mm. He He didn't, it's not just that, he can understand our suffering. It's not just that he walked on the earth and experienced so many of the things that we experience, but he didn't do this from this place of, um, I'm God, so it's easier for me. Mm -hmm. he, and he didn't just choose death. He chose the path of suffering to death. Mm -hmm. That was the part of his journey. And he wrestled with it. So giving me permission to wrestle with it, giving me permission to move forward the process and the path of um, difficult times in my life and know that sometimes a part of the process and path um, that leads to resurrection, that leads to the joy set before us is suffering. And that suffering is a part of life we don't want, but it is also a part of life, number one, that Jesus knows too. And then also that for, for us that it's a part of the process, you know? And so I think that while there are so many things that God can save us from, and He does save us from, because we live in a lost and fallen world, there are gonna be hard times that come, things that are difficult. Sometimes they're physical, sometimes they're emotional, sometimes they're mental. Sometimes it's a spiritual wrestling with God when we prayed for something and He didn't give us what we wanted. And sometimes it's on the rock, it's on the stone in Gethsemane, sweat and tears of blood coming down your face and out of your forehead because it's that painful. But what it says in Luke chapter 22, verse 44, and being in agony, he was praying very fervently and his sweat became like drops of blood falling down upon the ground. And then right after that in verse 45, when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray. So he's having this hard prayer. And then what does he do? He gets up in the midst of his suffering, goes to his disciples and says, get up, like we still have work to do. We still have to move forward. And so when I think about what I am learning and have learned through suffering, because I just want it to stop. You know what I mean? You just, do you ever feel like when there are seasons of suffering, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like high tide. It's the it's the roll of waves that are higher and all the high ones come at the same time, you know? And you just are like, make it stop. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have to remind myself, um, you know, God is good and He can do good things and create great things in my life and answer prayer. But when the seasons of suffering roll in, like the waves do on a high tide day, what do I look at Jesus and say? Well, He just got up and He kept going. And sometimes for me, I know that the next step is the only thing I can do. Um, because to try to look to the end of the road is too hard. Mm -hmm. To try to think about where the road could end is too overwhelming. Um, to try to think about my frustration even of why is God taking so long? Mm -hmm. But for me, looking at Jesus' example, the lesson that I learned um, is that He got up and He kept going. One of my mother's um, statements when she was really, really sick, she started crying and she said, uh, because we had people from our church that would come and walk around our house every day at 12. Um, and she said, all of these people praying for me around the house and cards were coming from all over the world 
all of these people all over the world praying for me. And she started crying and she said, I don't want them to lose faith. <laughs> Whether or not God heals me or not, I don't want my suffering or my death to cause them to lose faith. And so I think just as she was praying for the many people who were praying for her, I want to pray for those who are watching because we don't want your current suffering to cause you to lose faith, you know. Lord Jesus, I just am so grateful for this discussion that we can have because we know that we all will go through difficult times. You said in your word, in this world you will have trouble, but you have overcome the world. And overcoming often means that we get to see your overcome, overcoming grace and power as you come through in our answered prayers, as we speak healing over our lives and speak deliverance over our lives and see you make a way out of no way, covering us, protecting us, being a banner over us that spells love. And then sometimes we pray and we move forward and it's just still hard. So Lord, I just pray, um, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that those who are right now not in a suffering circumstance, that you would not allow this session um, to release them, that you would cause this session of our talk today to arrest them to the point where they are motivated more than they ever have been before to study your word, learn your word, commune with you, connect with you, to get full of you so that when those time comes, they are ready. But I don't wanna forget those who are struggling now, even tempted, to lose faith because you're not answering the way they'd hoped or you're not answering as soon as they'd hoped or it's still hard, very painful, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And they are tempted right now to walk away from the faith because what good God would allow this difficult suffering? And I pray for that person who's watching. Would you now, Holy Spirit, the same way that you can arrest us and cause us to be motivated, inspired, and convicted to pick up your word, would you simply, Lord, love Holy Spirit on those who just need to know that you care despite the hardship, on those that just need to know that you are with them through the suffering, and on those that need to know that even in the darkest of times that you are always thinking about their future, their future with you on this earth and in eternity, and that there is joy set before them so that they would be encouraged to hold on even through the difficult time. Holy Spirit, we know you can do both. And I pray for each person watching that they would be strong in the faith, that they would go the distance with you, and that they would know that even in suffering, that you are still Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community. 